Hey guys, so I wanted to talk today about the paradox of paralysis. I've actually been thinking a lot about this um, this week because this week I've had two paralysis situations um, happen just, you know, work, working with some clients. And, and there's, there's this kind of paradox. So, sometimes you have a business and you're, you're small, right? You are, you're trying to get moving. You're trying to get out of the gates. You're trying to get your first customers or you're trying to, you know, to move past this kind of place where you've sort of evened out and move to the next level. And the chances are there, at least what I see a lot is there's just a lot to do and not a lot of people to do all of the things that you have to do, right? I mean, sometimes the, the only people is you, right? Or a very small team. Maybe you've got kind of a support team or an outsource team. And so, you know, that's one of the times that I see, I'm going to go through both of them, but that's one of the times that I see folks a little bit having a paralysis. What happens there is like people are really, really busy, but they're just not moving forward, right? There's a lot of activity, lots of work happening, but they're not moving forward. Okay. The other time that I see paralysis a lot is I also work with some very large companies. And there I see a different form of not moving forward. It's not um, in the small companies, there's like a lot of desire and trying to do a lot of stuff and kind of spreading yourself really thin. In some of the big companies I work with, there's almost, there's too many people with very narrow lanes, right? And what happens is you, as you start to, to build your company, it gets bigger and bigger and bigger. And we're talking about like hundreds of millions, billion dollar businesses, what happens is people have very narrow lanes and very fixed mindset about how to get things done. They actually lose their entrepreneurial edge because most of the people working in those businesses just are not entrepreneurs. So they don't have a real strong desire to do things that are just kind of like outside the lines. There's, there's, there's reasons for that, by the way. Sometimes it's kind of a CYA, you know, cover your ass reason in that if you step outside the line or if you stick your neck out, right, you have a greater <laughs> chance of your neck getting uh, sliced, you know, get, getting your head cut off. Um, that happens in really big businesses. What happens a lot in small businesses that I see is that there's a lot of people sticking their necks out really, really far, but sometimes there's not enough direction. So I, lately I've just been seeing this kind of paradox of paralysis on two sides. So I've been thinking, you know, like, what do you do in both of those situations? I have to work in both of those settings. I work with small companies. I work with very big companies. I get frustrated for different <laughs> reasons on both sides with my smaller companies that I'm trying to help acquire, right? Acquire more prospects, acquire customers, bring, you know, I was talking uh, this week about there's a difference between getting people to the door and getting people through the door. And there are a lot of times that, you know, the, the simple, um, reality is that they're having trouble getting people to the door. And in those situations, I think, you know, one of the things that I've experienced is you really have to focus and try to do fewer things. Um, this is just a lot of experience. I have been an entrepreneur for the last 10 years. Um, I have experienced personally how hard it is to try to get so many things done for your list to be so long in terms of the things that you have, have to get done. And they're just not being enough time or enough people to get it done. If that's the case and you're short on resources, the best I, advice I can give you is get away from your computer, get away from a piece of paper, go for a walk, do whatever you have to do, but ask yourself like, what is it that you really need? I mean, for real, what is it? Do you need more customers? If you need more customers, do enough customers know about you? If, if you're at a full stop right there and the answer is no, then what you need is you need an awareness plan. You're going to have to find a way to get people to be aware and what you need to sit down and that needs to be your goal. There's going to be a thousand other things pulling at you, but you really, the one that you have to commit to every day, right? Give yourself a little, um, you know, a, a little long-term goal with kind of weekly milestones. I'm going to get this done this week. I'm going to get this done this week, but that all has to go to, you've got to build awareness, right? You've got to, you've got to find a way of taking your message to the market, bringing that market back to your um, kind of eco ecosystem, you know, constellation of your, whether it's your landing page or whatever, but that's your problem to figure out. It's just that simple. And by the way, you need to see, say 
the right things. And if you, if you have any um, issues with that, uh, you should check out my Captivate Sprint because that's all we do. But if that's the issue in your small company and you're stopping there, like just figure out what's the real thing that has to happen. The, the thing that has to happen for you to get out of, of, of sort of the morass of where you are if you're stuck, right? And you have to do it. A, a, a bunch of things are going to pull you in different directions, but if you don't figure out that one thing, what your one thing is, you're just not going to move forward. Mm -hmm. Now, here's the thing. With my really big companies, I know some of you are actually listening. Um, with my really big companies, you know, I think you got to kind of think about having flexible mindset. There are a lot of different ways to get things done, right? And, and in big companies, they tend to forget that because they have systems, by the way, that they had to have. As you grow, you need to pull more order in. You need to actually establish swim lanes and guidelines of what to do. But sometimes they become like cement, right? Instead of like having a little bit of flexibility, what can I do? They become like these kind of like cement girders and you don't want that. You've got to have some flexibility in terms of like, how can I get different things done? Usually the issue that people are working on there has nothing to do with trying to acquire customers. What it, what it mostly has to do is with trying to serve the customers you really have and serve them really, really well. And what I see a lot of times is people letting their processes get in the way of common sense, you know, in terms of serving their heroes, is this going to serve my customer? Am I doing the things today, like in, in, the, in the little pile that I have on my desk or the really big pile that I have on my desk, is anything that I'm doing here going to have a direct relation to actually serving my customers and making things better for them? Because that's what keeps business going. So this one's more of a rant today, guys, but I just kind of wanted to share, if you are in this paralysis, whether you're a ginormous company or a smaller company that's trying to grow, you know, for the smaller companies, focus focus on what is the thing that is going to move you forward and you've got to commit time and you've got to commit resources and you've got to commit mentally to moving that done and, and like just putting your nose down and getting it done. And if you can't get it done, you better get some help or else you're going to stay there forever, right? For the really big companies, this is really just kind of a reminder that you really have to think about flexible, you know, how flexible are you being so that you can get your stuff done. A lot of times when these really big companies, they just kind of grind to a halt sometimes because there's so much process and things have been kind of, you know, cemented and become like calcified that like work doesn't get done because there's so much process and so many steps to it. And so there you got to break that shit down and you got to like be flexible and move things forward. So I was just thinking about these two things today. They've been on my mind. I'm trying to break down some walls and I'm trying to get some folks moving forward on both sides of that spectrum. So um, I just thought I would share. And by the way, I would be really interested to hear, um, what are your thoughts on this? Like, are you experiencing this or do you experience something different? And if so, what would be super cool is tell me how, what are your methods for either having flexible mindset or maintaining focus or getting stuff done? Um, I'm really curious about, you know, what you guys are doing to actually keep moving on that. So I will see you next time. Thanks a lot.